What's up vlog? This video is all about improving your jump videos that you post online. Because let's be honest, they could use some work. So here are my tips and tricks to editing your skydiving videos. Roll the intro. What's your biggest pet peeve about people's skydiving videos? Um, I don't know. The long wait to the actual <laughs> jump, I guess. Uh, of just airplane noise. And the, the also just the like wind noise during the jump. The, the wind noise is a good one. I always dial the wind noise down. Yeah, the wind noise is pretty loud on the GoPro. I was thinking the dubstep music. Cause you know skydiving is the most hardcore thing you could do ever. Oh, it's in your face! Yeah, that is pretty. The music needs to shear your face off too. Yeah. My hair is crazy right now. Yeah. Just cut it out of the shot. <laughs> Meow, I do love airplanes though. Meow. This is just the way that I edit videos. It's not like the right way, the best way. It's just my way. It's what I like doing. So I figured I would share that with you guys. Um, so maybe we can improve those jump videos that contain way too much inside the plane footage. When you go to the drop zone, think about catching some B-roll. So B-roll is everything that's not the jump. That's footage of the airplane, footage of the airplane taxiing, footage of the airplane flying, footage of people landing, footage of the the actual drop zone, maybe some time lapses if that's your thing. Um, and it don't gotta be fancy, you don't have to have a thousand dollar camera like this. Most of us have a GoPro and a cell phone. Um, the cell phone can shoot 4K, most of them these days. The GoPro can shoot 4K. Um, and those two things you know, it's not about the quality of the footage that you get, it's about telling a story. So, yeah, the first thing I do is find some music. So, I go on SoundCloud, I look up Creative Commons music, and now I follow a bunch of artists on there that post stuff that you can use in your YouTube videos for free. Um, if you want to monetize it, if not, you know, you can pretty much just use whatever song you want, and then the record company is going to put ads on your jump video. Um, so I find the music and that kind of gives me the pacing for the video. So my formula is basically this. Step one, the sizzle. This is like capturing people's attention with a short five to 10 second clip. Uh, maybe it's an interesting part of the jump. Maybe it's just you talking to the camera like this being like, what's up YouTube or Facebook or whomever you're posting to. Notice how I did it in this video. Um, and then you go to the intro. Intro. All right, first jump, new pilot shoot, new canopy. Let's go. Two is like the intro, and the intro is going to be like some music layered over some B-roll. Starts telling the story, so you can have like a sunrise time lapse. You can just have some footage of the drop zone, a little bit of the jump video. And the intro is where you start telling the story. So if you want to do like a super energetic edit you'll be making like faster cuts you can make the cuts with the music it's nice to vary the length of each shot so that every cut isn't like four bars because that actually gets very boring visually so vary the length of your cuts and your footage and you know I like to make the title go along with the music but then I like to change it up Make sure there's a progression. You don't want to go from like inside the plane to standing on the ground to the jump video. You know what I mean? You're starting to tell the story here. Um, and then three is like your main content. So if that's the jump, you go right into the edit from your intro. It could be, you know, like my coaching videos. I do a voiceover. Maybe I do a little um, A-roll, C-roll. 
I do some like talking head stuff like this. Um, and then you just piece it together. Okay, so let's go through the quote finished video. Um, this is a very basic edit. You can do this in iMovie or Windows Movie Maker or you can download DaVinci Resolve if you want to get more technical. That's uh, There's a free level of that software where you can mess with the color and really pull some cool stuff out of your GoPro, which I shoot in ProTune. I should make another video about shooting GoPro footage. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, let me show you the quote final edit. All right, first jump, new pilot shoot, new canopy. Let's go. New shirt. It's a different day. Sometimes it takes me a few days to get a video edit done because I work for a living. I get a newborn. Um, anyways, I hope you guys get some value out of that and we can all help remove that inside the plane footage from the internet. <laughs> There's nothing that makes me turn a video off more than like a minute and a half of just you guys looking around in the airplane and I mean gear checks are done. There's not even any fist bumps. like. Just music and or or no music and just inside the air footage airplane footage and it's like zzz, it's the most boring thing ever. Um, anyways, I hope you guys got some value out of that video. And uh, if you guys liked the video, didn't like the video, just do me a favor, leave a comment below so that I can help improve um, and bring you guys more of the the type of content that you want. I think I will get into shooting with a GoPro shooting in ProTune, how I edit in Final Cut, um, which is a little bit more advanced. Um, if you want to see that sort of stuff, let me know. I'm trying to get another skydive in this weekend. Uh, I've been sick. You can hear my voice is very like, I'm sick. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.